Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Wednesday's Art Enrichment video. This week, I'm doing the theme of landscapes, and I wanted to show you guys, even without any materials, you can still be making art and making landscapes. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to use a program called Google Drawing. It is free to everyone. You just uh, type it into Google and it'll pop right up for you. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a landscape inside of Google Drawings. Let me flip you guys over to my computer and show you how to do it. All right, so I got you switched around to the computer now. I just have an internet browser open straight to Google. So right here, I'm going to be typing Google Drawings. All right, and right here, this very first link is what you want. Okay, so I would like to tell you guys, this assignment is probably for the older kids, not so much the elementary and first grade levels. Absolutely give it a try, get your mom and dad to help you out, but I'm just letting you guys know that this is a little bit more difficult than the other projects I have been putting out there, but I wanted to give you guys lots of different options as to how to make a landscape. So here is a pretty cool option if you don't have any supplies at all at home. My fourth and fifth graders, you guys have already seen Google Drawings because I have taught you guys this in the classroom when we were making the STEM t-shirts. So you guys have an advantage. All right, the first thing I want you to do is to give your drawing a name. We want to call it Landscape. You can put your name in there if you want to. You really can call it anything you want. And now it is saving and it is automatically saved to your Google Drive. There are lots and lots of things this program can do. We are gonna start off by drawing some grass. The easiest way to add in grass is to add shapes. So right here, shapes, and to the rectangle. Draw a rectangle across the bottom. You see how there's a little red line at the bottom that shows you where the bottom of your canvas is. These checkered squares is your canvas. So right here, I want to change the color. So right up here, this fill, click it. There's a bunch of different colors you can use. I wanna use a middle color. Okay, we have the grass. Now I want to change this so it looks like a sky. You've got lots of different options here. You can keep going with these boxes and I can do a yellow, an orange, and a red and make it look like a sunset. Or you could do a big blue box right here. Or something really fun is you can change the background. So I have a computer that I'm working on and I can right click. If you're on an iPad or something where you don't have a right click, um, if you double tap with two fingers or if you hold um, the alt in two fing and one finger click, it should work. It'll bring this up for backgrounds and you can change it to a blue background or we can do even more with it. Do you see these gradients? These are really fun gradients. And now it's going from dark blue and fades into a light blue. So from here, you can make this landscape your own. I'm gonna stick with the whole mountain idea just to keep some congruity. So again, go back up to shapes and I want a triangle. Click up here draw it. Now you're not limited to the very place you put it. You can pick it up and move it over. You also don't have to keep it straight up and down. See this little tiny yellow dot? You can click on this dot and I'll lean your mountain over so it doesn't look like a big strong triangle. You can also change this color right here. Let's make it brown. Let's have more mountains in there. Shapes, another triangle. Wide, I'm gonna move it over. 
and then one more shapes. This time I want to make it wider, so I move it that way. And I actually want this one to be behind this mountain. So I'm going to change its position. Up here, if you go to Arrange and you go to Order, you can say Send Back. And look, now this mountain is in front and that mountain is behind. You can change the color of your mountains. Maybe this mountain we want to change the color of. So up here to color, and I can come down here to custom color, and then I can move it around in here, and I want to make it even darker. Hit OK, and now I have a really cool dark mountain. This one I want to change the color of too, but this time I want to make it lighter. There we go. Now we've got three different colors of mountains. Maybe I want to make this one a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter. So this guy looks really, really tall. You can change them however you want to. Okay, let's add some trees. We're going to continue with the triangle, but this time I'm going to make it tall and skinny. And I want to make it in the green family. So dark green. Here is a fun, easy way to make lots of trees. If you right click on it, you can say copy and then you can say paste. So there I have another tree, but now maybe I want this tree to be a little bit smaller. So I put it right there. I can do that again. Copy paste. Do you see how this says control V? That means you hit Control and V on your keyboard and it lets you automatically pay, uh, paste. So that looks like that. Now I can move that here, make this one a lot taller. Put it there and maybe some more trees and make it shorter. And I want this one to be back here. So this tree is in front of it and I want this tree to be behind it. So I go to arrange, I go to order, and I say send back. Now it's still not there, so I need to send it back again. Arrange, order, send back. Arrange, order, send back. I know it seems silly, but now do you see how it is behind the street? If I sent it all the way back, then it will get pushed behind the mountains and we don't want to do that. So we want to do it step by step. All right, I think I need another tree over here. And this time I want to change some of the colors of the trees. I want to make them just slightly darker. And this one, this way we have variety. And I think we need a small little tree. Cute. And let's make this one darker as well. There we go. We got lots of little trees down here. You can also put trees over here, or you can do whatever you want. You don't have to make yours exactly like mine. You make yours like yours. So really, really easy to add some clouds. Shape, shape, and there's a cloud right here. Oh, my cloud is green. I don't want a green cloud. Change the color to white. Let's add another cloud. Control C, Control V, we'll copy and paste. I love my short commands. Now, I don't want it on top of the mountain, I want it behind the mountain. Arrange, order, send back. This time I can say send back all the way. Boom, now it is behind the mountain. We can add a sunshine um, really easily with just a circle or they even have a sunshine shape in here. And let's change the color. Mm, pretty golden yellow. So I want it to be here. And there we go. And I want my cloud to be on top. So I click on my cloud and I say bring 
front. That way the cloud is kind of in front of the sun. That's called overlapping. You guys know how much I like my overlapping. We talk about that a lot and we even learn it in kindergarten. All right, so I wanna show you guys a little bit more advanced stuff. All right, so down here, I want to add something more like a river. So right here we have something called a line tool. You can do straight lines, you can use curve lines. I'm not a big fan of the curve lines. Um, and I really like polyline and scribble. Scribble will allow you to draw anything at all that you want, but polyline is the one that I want. Um, when you click, it creates this line, and anywhere you click, it's gonna stop that line and then allow you to make a new line. So I wanna make this look like my river is getting bigger. I wanna come across the bottom, click, come up and make this get smaller and smaller and then get back to where I started. And now I can change the color. I wanna make it like a dark blue. So I actually, I don't really like this one. I wanna try that again. And I can. I use this, I click on it, and on my keyboard I hit backspace and it deletes it. So now I'm gonna try it again. Polyline tool, start here, click, 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 go across, my river gets smaller, and let's make it darker. All right, I think I like that much, much better. Okay, we can also add little plants in here. I want to add shapes and I just want to add little circles. So teeny tiny little circle, I wanna make it pink. I'm gonna say copy, paste, 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 paste. And then I can go back and I can move these all around. So this looks like a little group of flowers. There you go. What do you guys think? Does it look like some flowers? Oh, you can also use the keyboard keys to move stuff around. So this one was on top of that. So I just used my keyboard key and I moved it down just a little bit. You could add a lot more flowers here if you wanted to. You can also zoom in. So right here, there's like this little plus zoom. I can say zoom 200%. And now I can see my flowers even closer. And if I wanted to, I could use my line tool. Line. And now I could draw little stems for my flowers. Use this little tool, pick it up, move it. There we go, that's a better. Delete that one. I like it. Now we can zoom back out to fit. That way it fits this entire screen. If you need to make your canvas bigger, you can. Right here, you can make it bigger that way or you can make it smaller if you need to. It is completely up to you. If you ever do anything you don't like, you can always undo. So right up here, we got two arrows. This is undo, this is redo. So I wanna undo my canvas change. Undo, undo, and now I'm right back to the same canvas that I had before. There are so many, many different things you guys can add to your landscape. I'm going to stop mine here, um, but try anything and everything you want. If you don't like it, delete it and try again. I want you guys to have lots of fun with this. I definitely want to see your artwork. So remember to save it and to send it to me. Uh, it is automatically saved into your Google Drive. All you have to do is open up Google Drive. And um, for third grade through fifth grade, you're gonna add it and turn it in. For my second, my kindergarten through second grade, I want you guys to email it to me or to your classroom teacher or to Dojo, message it to me. All right, guys, happy creating.